Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm Grumps. I'm not so Grumps. And Timmy Joe's playing computers on the internet. Hi there. My name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet and scream. So I hope you like that. Uh, quick plug, if you haven't already, twitch.tv slash watch Timmy Joe. I have been streaming on Twitch, various things. There will be a awesome talk show coming up on it as well. Uh, but head over there, uh, you know, subscribe or whatever. Follow me there. Hoping to become a partner uh, so I can make a little cash on uh, there. Uh, there's this whole thing. But it's, it's good fun. We were playing PUBG with a bunch of you guys last night. And it was a hell of a lot of a fun. So I want to keep doing that. Should be good. On to today's video, though. I've been teasing this thing for a while now, and if you know anything about boutique computers in the 2000s, maybe even early on into the or late 90s, uh, you know about Voodoo, okay? Voodoo DNA. It's inside here, see? Don't look. Anyways, we'll look inside the computer in a second, you little jerks. You're trying to get a sneaky peeky. But this thing is an awesome computer that has been, uh, not donated, but um, I'm using it. Uh, a friend of mine, Tyler, he lives near me, brings me computers. I talk about them all the time. He brought this up, and he probably needed uh, a trailer. Maybe a U-Haul? Uh, it's, it's heavy. It's 80 pounds. And uh, this was right around the time that HP bought Voodoo. So, I believe this would have been in development, and we'll, uh, we'll look at some stuff here. Uh, Voodoo makes this stuff. We, there's a video right here, you can go check it out. I cleaned a water loop out that was like 10 years old, full of algae. On a Voodoo boutique computer, aluminum chassis, uh, custom built stuff. Something you would have ordered, and you would have picked all your parts, and it would have come up to like... <laughs> like $7 million, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe $3,000. This thing though, definitely up there. And you were able to go on HP's website, and directly configure these but uh, as you see here this is uh, HP site it's actually one of their product sites I couldn't find this exact model but uh, it says it came out in September of 2007 I believe this might be like a secondary model because the motherboard in this is actually the 780 chipset when originally these came with a 680 chipset all the change there still quad extremes uh, you know still quad cores but you were able to use DDR3 RAM which this does have uh, 8 gigabytes of rip jaw quit looking memory in it and uh, a, a core 2 quad extreme a 9650 and uh, you know it's a fun little machine I think everything in here would have been kind of the, as it was bought except for the video cards and if you want to go check out these video cards in action quad SLI oh my goodness dual GTX 590s I did a whole video on a modern platform here just to see how crappy they could be and they are fairly crappy and the fact that this is only a quad core running at 4.2 gigahertz, mind you, uh, I, I guarantee you there's a CPU bottleneck, but there's, I, I don't know. We'll look at some games closer to the end of the video. But when I first received this thing, it was 10 times louder, and it's very loud right now. And it had this in it. This Antec. Sorry, Tyler. Uh, this Antec AIO, and it was getting near 80 degrees at stock. Uh, running Cinebench, and I knew something had to be done. So I actually, we'll, we'll look in it, fine. I actually installed, and there's some B-roll here. Uh, the, an AIO back in the original spot, the AIO would have been. This actually had a custom AIO solution that, uh, and it would have had dual graphics cards at the time, but I think the motherboard's the same. I doubt they would have just upgraded for the DDR3 memory, uh, and I believe the CPU would have been the same. It just, this probably originally came with like uh, two GTX 280s in it, maybe 9800s or something like that. Uh, and that's what this this one would have had in here anyways. So pretty crazy, you know, like uh, we've got all kinds of configurations you could have made this thing back in the day. And uh, look at here, 8800s, you know, or you could have Radeon 2900 uh, XTs in them, which is pretty crazy, pretty silly. So it's a grand old time, that is for sure. So moving on, we see here, there's a Blackbird HP, that's a Wikipedia article. I only bring this up because it shows it got a 9.3 on CNET's list. That's a pretty cool, you know, whatever. And uh, it shows here that the uh, uh, next generation was actually the HP, um, what is it, the Firebird. So it was replaced by a much smaller system 
that uh, you know looked kind of the same as this, but was probably a quarter of the footprint, and it used some laptop parts and stuff like that. If you check it out here, you know it, it was a, a, a pretty cool next-gen thing. There was actually even an AIO solution on like the the graphics cards and stuff like that in them. So things got pretty crazy with this whole series. But now I think the extent of Voodoo DNA you still see in HP is their Omen series, uh, and that's about it. It's that big QB or whatever computer, cuboid computer. But here we see the guy from Tiger Direct back in 2007. You remember this guy? He's reviewing the thing and he's having all kinds of fun with it. Uh, you know, just talking about how it's uh, such an, a crazy 88 pound. And we'll see here there are some differences. There was uh, an extra shield that went over the graphics cards that's missing in this thing, probably because the video cards just wouldn't fit with them in there but for the most part it remains the same so you know and he was saying that this thing was just an absolute beast so but uh, let's get into the internals real quick here and then we can get into some benchmarkies a little bit of benchmarkies i already did those graphics cards i'm not going to go crazy i'll throw a couple of game benchmarks up on the screen just for fun uh closer to the end of the video so what's in here well i put that corsair aio on okay and I put, uh, you know, the, the graphics cards back in there. They are working in Quad SLI. There's a fan intake here. There's five hard drive cages here. They're hot swappable, which is pretty cool. It's running on an SSD right now with uh, like a 500 gig drive or something. And I got my games drive in there. And then there are actually two CD-ROMs in this thing. You were able to put a full size one in here, right? What, here? Yeah. Whew. There's a little thingy here. And there was, uh, it came with this slot load one down here where you can actually just like load one right in there. And then all your IO is hidden up here in this cool little, I don't know if you, any of the camera angles can see, but hopefully there's a, a pop-up thing on the top there, which is pretty, pretty neat, I would have to say. So let's look at the system here. I do have her loaded up and I've overclocked it to 4.2 gigahertz on the, uh, the uh, Core 2 Extreme Quad, Core 2 Quad Extreme uh, X95 or 9650. There we go. Freaking hell. And uh, she's actually running pretty cool now that I fixed the I.O. solution. It's down there, you know, it'll get up to like 60 degrees while it's running. So, you know, think of this as, uh, you know, maybe a, uh, like a second gen Core i5, you know, maybe uh, in performance if you're running stock and this thing's overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. We'll see where it gets at in a second, but uh, you know, don't expect the moon from this. This is not going to be a very high-end gaming system these days. Uh, but then I did overclock the graphics cards as well, just uh, so in the the games, and we'll run Fire Strike in a second too. We can see uh, you know a direct comparison on what a you know the, those quad graphics cards running on a Core i7 uh, you know current gen quad core with hyper threading. Uh, you know how it does versus the uh, the quad core you know from 11 years ago that's in this thing see Cinebench I, you know what Cinebench is bad if I'm like rambling on to try and be able to fill the time but uh, I, I clean the system up a bit for Tyler and uh, you know it's it's still a pretty cool gaming system I would definitely just kind of keep it as is or you could fire a new motherboard in there and have a pretty cool case like Look at this graphic on here. So we're getting just about 460 in Cinebench, 459 at 4.2 gigahertz. It's running, uh, you know, pretty uh, iffy. I did a little B, you know, uh, uh, baseline overclocking as well as I uh, put the mu multiplier up to get to that speed. And uh, the front side bus is running at like 1420 or something like that. And uh, we're at a multiplier of 11. And I had to put it up to like 4.0. 8 volts 1.48 volts I should say to keep this overclock stable but you know it's not super loud actually the graphics cards are the, the loudest thing in there I have them on like all 50% uh, fan speed so that we can run a little fire strike so oh yeah okay yeah run it in offline mode and when we run offline mode and we run fire strike we'll be back with a result and that should be fun a few moments later this, oh wait, I'm running fire strike! Ha ha ha, we got her up and running. <laughs> it, did it just die? One eternity later. <laughs> I can't, I can't. How much? 720 watts! 700. Alright, we got GTA loaded up. I've got it settings on high, which is actually sort of like medium. And this game is very well optimized for old crappy hardware. 
it's running at four gigahertz. I've uh, had I've ran into some issues. Okay, so we see Grand Theft Auto is actually running all that bad. You know, I just got the opening scene going here. You might say, I thought you were gonna run freaking Fire Strike. Well, this is what happened every time I ran Fire Strike. Computer would just shut off. That's because I literally saw this go up to 860 watts, and the computer. Because Fire Strike is that graphically intense. So I've, I'm just, you know, playing a little Grand Theft Auto here for fun. And, uh, you know, I, I see here we're getting a hundred and some frames a second. That's not so bad. Uh, this is on, like I say, high, which is like... It, it's basically on the lower spectrum of medium in this game. And 700 watts. So there's a thousand watt power supply in this thing. I'll show you a couple other games that I've actually got working on this thing. Uh, it, but the power supply has probably run its course and to some caps are starting to swell on it and it can't maintain you know the 860 the 900 watts it needs to run this system at full balls to the wall full tilt so I'm just gonna end the video here because I could care less about showing you benchmarks for this. It's a uh, high-end core, core 2 quad, one of the most high-end ones, or core quad duos, whatever you want to call them. And it's got graphics cards that have no business being in this system. I would expect at least a Core i7 system for those graphics cards, even if it's the first-gen Core i7. And uh, the power supply probably should have been upgraded. I was running those uh, 590s on a Core i7 with a thousand watt power supply from FSP and I had absolutely no issues but that was the power supply like it's it's a newer power supply I've had it for about a year that was the one I was running Threadripper on with a GTX 1080 Ti overclocked to the max and uh, at one point Vega so uh, you know it's used to a little bit of power suckage but the fact that this is even idling at like 360 degrees or 360 watts I should say let's just run uh, I didn't have this hooked up before because I, I just never thought to do it uh, I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a problem but uh, here let's run Cinebench and see what so the core 2 quad is getting up near 600 watts just running Cinebench so Tackle on, you know, let's see the CPU is running at 80 to 90 to 100 uh, percent usage. And then you're tacking on four GPUs. And the way that this thing is, uh, is set up here. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. It's all Jimmy rigged and stuff. Like, you see that? Oh, it shut off. Oh, I unplugged it. Oh, that's probably really good for the computer. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I am so done with playing with this thing. It has no business being existing, and that's why I love it. Somebody thought they could put four GPUs in this thing and, uh, you know, have a ridiculously power hungry core, you know, two or core four quads duo. I'm so bad for that. And, uh,. You know, the, the, what's funny is nowadays you, the TDP, like the average usage on a quad core with that amount of power, it would, you know, I've got that uh, silent PC that ran without any fans, that uh, uh, SAC Pro, you know, with just a big giant heatsink. That thing's probably sucking a max of like 150 watts from the wall, uh, you know, at full tilt, full load. So this thing sucking, you know, eight times that or seven times that, that's really goddamn ridiculous. I'm not watching Mr. Jones' Instagram and Twitter. If you have any really cool old hardware you would like to share with me on the channel, uh, I would invite you to. As for this uh, HP Voodoo Blackbird, blah, 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 it's really fun. And I can't wait to give it back to Tyler because I'm so tired of lugging it around. And um, it was just a blast from the past, a cool retro look at where, you know, things gone. And, you know, Dell with Alienware makes stuff like this right now and you know there is an omen that's you know kind of like this but this is a, a whole other level of like i'm not even like it's so freaking heavy i can't even handle it so i'm gonna just quit this video for today i quit this game i'll see you guys in another video thanks very much i'm watching you over subscribe to twitter follow me on patreon and twitch.tv slash watch timmy joe and all that good stuff i gotta go bye timmy joe timmy T timmy joe he makes videos about computers on the internet. You betcha.